Good morning, folks. We've got a number of top stories to run down for you today, a must-watch video for newcomers, and a tease of the Catastrophe Cycle series finale. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star very calm and quiet. No sunspots or solar flares, just a few of these coronal holes. Even the incoming umbral magnetic fields really have no flareable sunspots beneath them. Solar wind never intensified further after what we saw yesterday, hasn't dropped out much either, just sort of riding steady relatively calm in the magnetic field of Earth. Top story at the crust is a wild uptick in the North Indian Ocean. The islands where India and Indonesia meet have been rocking like crazy, and there's a strong Earth spot low on approach to them from the north. Top weather stories follow the cold and snow, trying to make one last push into spring here. Meanwhile, tornado season has begun in China. Footage is impressive. Unfortunately, two children were lost when the bouncy house launched. Up first in the articles comes the pranksters. Fun April Fool's joke from the University of Toronto where scientists are suggesting FRBs are actually a version of the Death Star, destroying a planet. Have to admit, with the math and citations, they really did this up to look like a real paper. But the rest of these are real, and we begin way beneath our feet, finding major active areas deep in the lower mantle that allow for those 600-kilometer deep quakes to occur, especially beneath Fiji and Peru. Scientists studying extremely slow materials have found yet another way dark matter isn't interacting as expected. Again, the no-show and fail studies will continue to play out in the silliest sideshow of particle physics. Up next, an article on CMEs and coronal dimming. Some UV and visible energy scales up to X-rays in a solar flare. The particle blast stands between us and the sun as it's on its way to Earth, blocking out even more of the visible and UV. And these show up as a drop in visible and UV energy. But they are also showing up as a drop in solar energy to Earth's climate when these solar flares and CMEs are in fact 100, 1,000 to 100,000 times the energy to our planet. If you can understand that a major cataclysmic solar flare would not be a negative energy event for Earth, and if you can realize that we advocate for stronger restrictions, penalties, and retroactive cleanup provisions for polluters, please give this video of mine a shot, keeping in mind we hate pollution just as much as you do. Last but not least, I saw this when it hit the preprint archive days ago, but I sort of ignored it. And John McGovern suggested I take a closer look, and indeed, he's right. This is one of the final pieces of a puzzle detailing a secret of the sun. The paper is open source and complex, and the real kicker is that we're discovering that our sun has a sixth gear it doesn't use very often, but chooses to present sometimes in interesting ways. The next, the last Catastrophe Cycle series video before the full compilation movie will detail the secret of the sun. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.